welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren, and if you've never seen my face before and you'd like Sarah, can you stop talking? And you'd like to subscribe to my channel, make sure to subscribe right down below. So in today's video, I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me on my after school night routine. So I'm gonna be showing you everything that I do after school into the night routine. Yeah. Why did I do that? So I just got home from a coffee shop that I was working at literally all day. I was there all day. And also I didn't really eat lunch or snack today. So I'm pretty hungry. Right now it's 3.50. It's also a Friday, but I'm not doing anything tonight. So I'm probably just gonna go to bed early. I usually head to the gym around like 4.30. Um, and I usually don't have a snack before I go to the gym because I usually eat lunch at like 2. But today, since I was at a coffee shop, I didn't feel like packing lunch. You guys are going to get a sneak peek at one of the recipes that is coming to my blog very soon. If you aren't already subscribed to my email list, make sure to go to buylaurenevelyn.com and subscribe to my email list so you guys can get a notification in your email every time I post a blog post. But I'm having a blog post come soon about healthy snacks for like after school and stuff. So I'm gonna be showing you guys one of the snacks right now. What is she doing? So I just baked the chickpeas at 425 degrees for 15 minutes. So before I put them in the oven, I added mixed up pepper, Himalayan pink salt and everything but the bagel spice. So I wanted to cook them a little bit first just to get like initial crispiness so they weren't like soggy from the oil. And now I'm going to add, I think probably like a tablespoon. And bake them for another 10 minutes at 425 degrees. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more salt. Mom and Sarah like my creation. Oh, I thought that's how James would work. These are literally the best snack I've ever made and it took like 20 minutes. So then once I make my snack, check, I like to go and lay in my bed and watch some Grey's Anatomy. And also this video is gonna be up on Halloween. So Merry Christmas. I'm just kidding. Happy Hanukkah. Okay, so my mom just told me she can drive me to the gym and I usually walk to the gym but because it's really cold out, I don't really feel like getting all like bundled up. It's also raining, I think. It is raining. So yeah, she's leaving in five minutes. Um, as you can see, I look like this right now. So let's see if I can do this. Let's see if I can be ready. It's gonna be a stressful time, but we're gonna make it through. Oh my God, I almost stopped on my vlog camera. <sighs> I'm officially out of time. ever come in here when I'm filming. I don't usually work out in here because it makes me very paranoid that somebody's gonna come in. But I'm gonna do my workout. I don't know what workout I'm gonna do yet. There I am. So I picked a workout. I'm gonna do this 10 minute no jumping full body workout because I'm, I don't know. I just don't feel like jumping right now. I'm a little tired.
are you home? Oh, can you pick me up from the gym? I'll be in the front. Just text me when you're here. All right, love you. I didn't really think about that, that I was gonna have to walk home because I literally am wearing shorts and it's like 30 degrees outside, so. So I just got back from the gym. I had a really killer workout. It was so good. Feeling nice and good and fresh. So now I have to shower. It is 6.30. 6.30, 6.26 to be exact. Okay, so my dad comes into my room and he's like, I don't know how to zest a lime. Do you know how to zest a lime? He's like, yeah, I was trying to zest a lime and I cut my thumb and it started spewing blood, but like, I think it's okay. Like, you know how boys do that where they like pretend like they're not hurt when they're hurt? Oh my God, I'm like, what, <laughs> what are you doing, dad? Like, are you okay? Um, I think he's okay. Yeah, let's go make a purple carrot. And by the way, I'm not sponsored by purple carrot or anything. I genuinely really like purple carrot and I post about it all the time on my Instagram. So before I go start dinner, I'm just gonna pump a little bit of coconut oil on this cotton pad here and just take off any excess makeup I have on my face. Minced jalapeno, juice from half the lime, a pinch of salt to a small bowl. Toss that out. Some remaining lime, half a pinch of salt. I think you could do that in like this. Probably. Oh, you got, you want to do a bigger bowl maybe? Mm -hmm. that good? That's probably For good. the zest? Yeah. It's just zest. Yeah, that's good. Purple Carrot should sponsor me. For sure. I post about them all the time. And one of the best things about Purple Carrot versus like HelloFresh or something is that it's all vegan. So like everything doesn't have dairy or meat. So my dad and I are gonna watch a movie while we eat our purple carrot. It looks really good. These are the, what's it called? Sweet potato fajitas with apple jalapeno salsa and lime crema. And Hey guys, so is it recording? It is, okay. So now I'm gonna get into my skincare routine and stuff. I've done this like a million times on my channel, but I don't wanna tell you you have to go back to watch another video because it's just like, why do you wanna do that when you're already watching this video? So let's just get right into it. I just brushed my teeth. I used the On Guard Whitening Toothpaste. This is from doTERRA. And then I use this Oral-B electric toothbrush. So now I'm gonna wash my face. In my last uh, night routine, which was like six months ago, I used my Vanity Planet spin brush, but kind of just for the video, because it looked cooler than like using my hands. But I never actually used it at night. I would just not use it. I would use like my hands. And I honestly don't know how I ever did that, because when you think about it, that's like kind of gross using your hands to wash your face. So I would definitely recommend it. This isn't sponsored by Vanity Planet or anything. I just actually really love this brush. You probably expected me to say I have a coupon code, but I don't, so sorry, lol. Ew. So basically what I do is I just put some warm water, and then I squeeze a little bit of African black soap on top, like so. Oh god, it's literally just dripped everywhere. And then I put some more water on just so it's not too soapy, and then I just let it like spin for a few seconds. I know that may be like, why are you doing that? But that's because all the excess water like flies off of it and then it doesn't get like everywhere when I put it on my face. I know that I'm done when soap starts flying everywhere. So for the next part of my skincare routine, 
Occasionally, I like to do a mask. And my favorite mask recently has been the Teamy Detox Green Tea Mask. Sorry, my hair looks um, questionable. So like I was saying before, my hair rudely interrupted me by being annoying. Um, this mask is made by Teamy. It is a detox mask and it has 75% organic ingredients and it has really good ingredients that are all really natural sounding. Dip in face slightly with water, apply a thin to medium layer to face and neck and then allow 10 to 15 minutes for the mask to dry. Let's do that. So it's damp in my face. So now let's just apply the mask. Oh my God, this feels so smooth. They did send me this, but this isn't sponsored, I promise, so. This is my real first impression of this mask, and I am loving it so far. I literally just got so much in my eyebrow. Cute. The mask is officially applied. I have green stuff all over my hands when I wash that off. If you guys would like to purchase anything from Teamy, I definitely recommend purchasing this mask. I'm so obsessed with it. Then make sure to use my code LaurenE15 for 15% off your purchase or LaurenE25 for 25% off your purchase of $34 or more. So I guess I'll just wash it off. I have really sensitive skin and I'm not seeing any redness or breakouts which has happened with quite a few masks. So then I'm gonna take my rose water facial toner. I used to use the Mario Badescu one, um, no tea, no shade, but Mario Badescu rose water spray has red dye in it in case you weren't aware. So now I use the Trader Joe's facial water facial toner. So I just spray this on my face. And then I'm taking my Shea Moisturizer. I got this one at Target, but I know they sell it everywhere. And this is what I use for my moisturizer. I'm just rubbing that on my face. So the first oil I'm gonna be using is HD Clear from doTERRA. And I just rub this on all of my problem areas. And then I do the same thing with Melaleuca. So then before I go to bed, I also like to take some Zendocrine essential oil. This just helps with like digestion and stuff, just to help you be able to sleep better. So just drop a few drops of that on. So I like to take time after school or at the end of the day to work on my YouTube or my blog or my website or anything I need to do regarding that stuff. Hey guys, I got distracted. So I usually try to go to bed around 9 or 9.30 ish because I have to wake up really early tomorrow. So every night before I go to bed, I fill out my urine pixels thing. Today was a productive day, so I'm gonna be using purple. And then also almost every single night, I try to write in my journal. So that's what I'm gonna do now. My video six months ago, I was like, I try to read my book about stress every night. Like, no, I don't. I literally don't do that, so. Sorry, I did that like, twice, I think. So I put it in the video, but I haven't done that, so. So then I will go into my office thing to plug in my computer and my iPad, and I go into my parents' room or another room in the house to plug in my phone. So then I will pop in my retainer, get into bed, and go to sleep. So thank you guys so much for watching my after school night routine. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy today's video and you'd like to subscribe to my channel, make sure to subscribe right down below.